Now, my dear friends, you will know that yesterday we covered the news of uh, China cancelling or banning NVIDIA chips from being used by Chinese tech companies, including our very own NIO. I mean, one of the things that we discussed there is the preparations that EV makers or tech companies like NIO have made in terms of developing their own chip, right? This is one thing that makes NIO to stand out from the other EV competitors that are still really depending on the chips of NVIDIA. Yes, I know Onvosa brand still uses NVIDIA chips. I just don't know if Onvo has found or NIO has found a local supplier that will supply them with, uh, with the chips since now China has cut off or has, has banned the NVIDIA chip usage into uh, by the tech companies. But something very, very interesting that I know and I love about uh, this uh, initiative by China, though in the short term it brings some serious hurdles, especially to those that were fully dependent on NVIDIA chips, is that obviously it's going to now force all the uh, car makers to invest heavily on R&Ds and uh, build their own chips because without building their own chips they are going to forever be dependent on to NVIDIA. Shares of NVIDIA yesterday finished on a red, pretty bad because of this kind of news and guess what the reason why i'm giving you that background is that is because this chinese uh, national television news broadcaster just praised neo's uh, uh, autonomous driving or just praised neo uh, with the first self-developed 5nm shinji smart chip or, or uh, uh, smart autonomous driving chip praising them to say that indeed they are on the good road to of course, not uh, limiting dependence onto the US-based chip maker NVIDIA, which is something that is very, very good, right? I think that project not only does it uh, obviously uh, serve NIO or increase NIO's gross margins, but it also helps China, right, in terms of chip development. They don't get to be restricted or they don't have to suffer anymore or from the restrictions that, of course, the administration, whether it being Trump administration or whatever administration, that sometimes they come and impose to say that don't ship these chips or, uh, or instruct NVIDIA not to ship certain chips into China. They can't succumb to that anymore because, look, now China is making their own chips, which is obviously good. So in as much as that, is, that was bad for NVIDIA, to EV makers, to tech companies in China, obviously, they, it's a good news, right? I mean, China, when they announced that, they said, look, the Huawei should be able to have a chip as good as NVIDIA or a chip that the, the these tech companies or EV makers, they've been getting from NVIDIA. They say, buy local. If not, produce yourself, which is something that is very, very good. So CCTV... Uh, praising NEO for this, it's also something that is very, very good because we know the capabilities of autonomous driving that is found onto the latest NEO vehicles. On the video where CCTV was on a, inside the NEO ET9 as it was making its move, dancing, waiting for the robots to open, they, they were really praising the technology that comes with this um, chip. NEO World Model is made possible because of this chip. There is going to be a massive update of Neo World model because of this chip. Neo is going to get to profitability with the use of this chip, which is something that is just so great, something that is very, very exciting. I mean, Neo is not just only big when it comes to hardware or things that you can physically see or touch. Their software is also on the next level, which is why on the Global Gardener Index for 2025, Neo found themselves taking the second spot just 2.5% away from Tesla, right? The difference between Tesla and NEO was just 2.5%, which shows you how close is NEO even at getting to Tesla's uh, or matching Tesla's technology, which speaks a lot of volumes about where NEO is at, but where it is also, also headed, right? Which is absolutely great, and it makes me to look forward to what is, uh, to what is coming. So... Me, when I saw this, I was honestly excited at this kind of development. Some people, I remember there was a group chat where 
people or the new investors were discussing if whether new is paying cctv to cover them which that that is not the case uh, but th this is a, a government news channel and i don't think they would really need to be paid to cover uh, NEO's uh, developments, technological breakthroughs and seeing this coverage. It is good for NEO because it makes also people to be aware of the kind of technology that is found onto NEO cars. So I am happy, I am excited. Blue Sky is coming long term will win. Those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price will most definitely be rewarded with time. Look man, it takes me some time to make videos like this and all I ask from you is to give it a thumbs up so that obviously it can be spread out by YouTube to as many people as possible. I remain long, I remain strong on Tunio because I know one thing and that is Blue Sky is coming. I know one thing and that is those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price are definitely going to be rewarded with time. YouTube still tells me that there are some people that have not subscribed to the channel and are just watching and not subscribing. Please guys, let's join the community. Let's grow this community so that people can get to know more about NEO. Remember, the more retail investors are begging NEO, the more upsurging we will continue seeing because a lot of people will be coming to buy NEO, including the big investors. Smart money will be pushing the share price to 100. I've seen there's a trend on the streets of social media where it's writing near 200, near 200 dollars, which is something that I believe we'll see in the near future. Let's push, let's push, let's push, let's continue loading the boat because blue sky is indeed going to come. Those that are persevering throughout the headwinds of the share price are definitely going to be, be rewarded, right? I remain long, I remain strong. On to Neo because I know one thing and that is Blue Sky is coming. So I just thought I'd come and quickly share this video. Um, comment what do you think about this coverage by uh, CCTV coming to praise Neo just a day after uh, the NVIDIA chips were banned. Coming to praise Neo on chips or on the massive breakthroughs that they've made or progress they've made when it comes to chip development, especially after the ban of NVIDIA chips by China. It's, it's a good thing, right? It's a pretty good thing and it makes me to want to load the boat. So like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will see you on the next one. Share price wise, Neo might still not be where we want it to, but double digits is coming very soon. I think I'm confident to say that or to start saying that, especially looking at the movements that the share price has been making in the previous trading sessions. I'll see you on the next one. And God bless you all.